hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i will show you how to clone your hard drive onto an ssd on the hp pavilion ab032 tx laptop you will need an ssd a dvd caddy and a screwdriver now let's uh, take out this uh, ssd from its packaging and install it onto the DVD caddy There are two screws on each side of the DVD caddy that you need to tighten in order for your drive to stay in place Now you will need to unscrew the screw that is holding the DVD drive in place and uh, take out the DVD drive as we as we will need the front and the back part of the dvd uh, drive and uh, install it onto the dvd caddy so in order to open uh, this uh, uh, dvd drive we will need a safety pin you just need to put it in this uh, hole this tiny hole and the dvd drive will open up You need to be very careful in what you use to uh, remove this front part of the DVD drive uh, as it can damage the locks. This is the way that I used to open it up. I would suggest you use a flathead screwdriver uh, to open up this front part. Mine got damaged uh, the very first time that I tried to open it up. Now you need to install this uh, onto the DVD caddy. Just align the holes with the uh, locks and uh, that's it. And just push it uh, down and it will lock itself into place. Now you need to take out these two screws as we need this uh, behind part of this uh, dvd drive and we need to install it onto the dvd caddy so that when we insert it into the laptop we can uh, uh, lock it into place now i will uh, boot up the laptop and switch to screen recording i did uh, have an issue with the screen recording as the mouse pointer was uh, showing somewhere else and the clicks were happening somewhere else so i would suggest you just follow my instructions rather than uh, following the mouse pointer so to clone this uh, hard drive uh, we will be using the software called macrium reflect just go to their website and download the uh, home use version of the software and from this next screen just select the download i mean just download the free version it's an 871 mb download once the download is done just follow the on screen instructions and install the software Once the software is uh, installed, we need to uh, initialize the SSD. So for that, we'll right click on this PC and then manage and then go to disk management. And here we will need to initialize our SSD. Until then, it won't be detected. So I will just go with the default settings and hit OK. Now you just uh, right click on the SSD and select a new simple volume and uh, follow the on-screen instructions and uh, format uh, the SSD. Once the SSD is formatted, you need to run the Macrium Reflect uh, 7 software. So over here, uh, the disk 1 is your hard drive and the disk 2 is your SSD. So we need to basically clone everything except uh, partition number 3 and uh, partition number 6. Click on clone this disk and then select disk to clone and select your SSD from that. So now you need to basically drag and drop uh, 1, 2 and then uh, partition number 4 
and now that you see that uh, I mean there's no more space left so you click on clone cloned partition properties once you click on that then you need to make another partition to fit the recovery file and the partition number 5 uh, which I don't think we might need but I'll just put it on just in case so I will uh, shrink this size to 82.780 GB which will give us the exact amount of space needed to fit the recovery file and the partition number 5. So let's throw in the partition number 5 first and now the recovery files and that's it. Please note that uh, your hard drive might show different partitions because uh, by default you just get uh, one partition on your hard drive when you get it uh, like get the new laptop but uh, with me I had done like two drives on it I had done two partitions C drive and D drive on my hard drive and, and that's why I think there are those extra partitions on it like uh, the unformatted partition and all that so once you're done dragging and dropping the files in the numerical order just hit next and next again and finish on the screen so this whole process will take around 50 to 60 minutes since many of you had asked me about the recovery f about adding the recovery files onto the SSD so this is the way you do it you can even do it without adding the recovery file but you need to add the rest of the files in order for Windows to boot from the SSD also please do keep in mind that uh, if you have apps and I mean all the programs installed you'll have to uninstall everything in order to get the C drive uh, lower than one I mean 110 GB uh, so that you, you can fit it on the SSD or else you need to get a bigger SSD and as you can see this uh, cloning process took around 55 minutes to complete now let me show you the drives so as you can see uh, the F drive that is the SSD and the G drive I think is the recovery for the uh, SSD so now what I will do is I will uh, change the drives I'll put the uh, SSD into the laptop and the hard drive into the uh, DVD caddy and be right back so so I switched the drives and I'm back now I will leave links in the description uh, how to on how to open up the laptop and how to switch uh, the drives I will leave links to that video in the description so as I mentioned earlier uh, my screen recording was messed up so uh, there is an G drive as well which is uh, right at the end that is the recovery files for the uh, hard drive so the C drive is the SSD the D drive is the hard drive the E drive is the recovery for the SSD I think and the F drive is the uh, windows files that are stored onto the uh, hard drive so you can either format your hard drive or leave it like that i'm going to leave it like that because i don't think it's going to cause any problems as uh, the first boot drive is set to the ssd so as you can see uh, disk 0 is the ssd and uh, disk 1 is the hard drive which is in the dvd caddy so that's it uh, for this video guys in this uh, in the next part of the video i will leave you some file transfer speed test from usb 2.0 3.0 to the ssd and hard drive so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do please hit the like and subscribe button and see you in the next one peace